Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and it's lovely Friday. Yeah, we've got the weekend now. We can spend all weekend crafting as well as the week. <laughs> well anyway, I said when I got my uh, little personal haul the other day that I was going to make my little autumn set that I got and I got um, a scarecrow, I'll put that there, and I got a little apple barrel with a sign and I also got this little cart. Well, I decided not to do the cart because I want to do the cart in a different way. Rather than have it autumn, I'm going to do mine Christmas. So I haven't done that one yet, but I did do those too. And also, while I'm thinking about it, somebody said to me, you got those glitter duster bottles, do they work? Well, I didn't know because I hadn't even tried them. I bought them and I popped them in a box. So... I got my Ranger Glitter out here. This is uh, Distress Glitter Dust. It's one of my favourite ones. I mix it with white mica flakes and I do all my vintage Christmas stuff. And I put a little bit in a bottle. And this has not been primed. I have not used it. I do not know if it works or not. Now then, going back to the card that I made using these two dies, I did it in a way that I can dot some glue on and try and make a sort of starry night and hopefully spray that glitter on. So it could be a bit of a fun disaster today. So anyway, here is my card. So I used um, prize ribbon and mustard seed to do the background there. Just a little bit of halo of light coming behind it. And I coloured the whole thing in using markers. I used a little bit of white gel pen to highlight and what have you. But uh, <laughs> what I'm going to do now is just dot glue around and then try and hit it with glitter. And let's see what happens with that. So I've used two of the autumn dies. The background dies are surprise creation. And I've got a sheet of white cardstock here. So it's going to be fun, isn't it? <laughs> I've got my Dollar Tree glue. Here it is with a needle tip bottle. And I'm just going to decide now where I want my starry night. And I don't want to make my blobs too big. But... I am going to put quite a few down. I think it's probably looking like snow at the moment because I can't see it on camera. But I'm just going to keep going. And we'll find out what happens. I may have ruined the card or it may be some fun. Right, I don't know if that looks any good. Maybe it needs more here. There. I think that should be sufficient for a starry background. I think maybe one here. Right. It's a pity I can't hear you talking at home because I'd probably be following your advice at this point. So here is the bottle. I've probably put just two teaspoons in the bottom because if it didn't work, I didn't, you know, really fancy the idea of cleaning it out again. Now I have seen videos where you can kind of swizzle the nozzle in whichever direction you want. But I think basically what you're doing, I don't think that you can point it down and do it. I think you're supposed to point it vertically. But first of all, we'll point it down <laughs> and see what happens. Right, are we ready? Oh dear. Oh, it's coming out. It's not coming out as much as I thought it would come out. Maybe that's because I'm that way around. What if I do that? Does it come out some more? No. Let's, uh, I think that's probably the only way it's going to do it. Or you can, like, do it sidewaysy. Oh! <laughs> do you know what? I think that if you want to put an even shimmer, I'm going to show it to you. An even shimmer of glitter onto something. Can you see that? But what it hasn't done is it hasn't located my little dots. I mean, you could do that, but then... Oh, hang on. No, what it's doing is blowing the rest of the glitter away from the glue dots. 
and it is applying just a little bit of glitter there but in the old-fashioned way of doing stuff I'll uh, tap that down on there just to get rid of that excess Ooh, this is fun isn't it <laughs> and I'm just gonna dump it out all over my little little dots but I do totally totally get that if you want a fine mist that's exactly what it just did so you know I'm I'm doing sort of like snowball style dots here and I've got my glitter all over them at least I think I have <laughs> my dog's looking at me like I've gone nuts right so I've made a right mess there so I'm now going to tap it off and see what happens but yeah absolutely if you want a fine mist then it does work so I'm thinking that you'd probably spread your um your collage medium all over something and then give it a light dusting and you're going to get you know a well spread out sparkle but I was going for my like snowbally stars so I'm going to tip this up now and tap it Let's have a look. Ooh, there's my sprinkly, starry background, and it does need another tap. Obviously, I've got to wait for that glue to dry before I can dust any of that excess glitter off. But I quite like my little starry background, and my scarecrow is sparkling too. <laughs> No, really, I like that. It does work. For what it is supposed to do, it absolutely works. So to uh, Rachel, who wanted to know, um, it does work. You get your fine mist, but you've got to make sure that your whole surface is covered in your collage medium glue or whatever glue you're using that will cover an entire surface. But for me, obviously, <laughs> I was using it inappropriately because I wanted dots. I wanted my little starry backgrounds. Right, I'm just getting this into the bottle before it goes everywhere. Otherwise, my dogs will have twinkle toes. There, I've done that. Right. So it works. So I'm quite happy with that. It does what it says it was going to do. And that is just a very fine mist across an entire surface. So... <laughs> <laughs> there you have it it works <laughs> so I'm laughing to myself because I don't know what on earth I was thinking when I did that because it is supposed to be a fine surface mist and of course as I said you know I've got snowbally looking stars in the background of my my little awesome scarecrow card right so that is what I got for you today and I am going to be up on Monday with a creative path design team haul which will be a lot of absolutely gorgeous ephemera it's going to be an interesting week of hauling and making next week so you have an absolutely awesome weekend as usual all links below and thank you so much for joining me today I mean I hope you enjoyed my little starry snowballs bye